it with you. Keep it with you until you come back, back to me. Take this heart of mine. This was to be just be telling me. There's no firewood in the house, at least. I can use this one. Oh, man. I don't know who just got into it. Please, so long, let me so. I'll be here to take my heart back. This mist is just spinning me. Sarah! There's nothing for us to eat, and you're here writing what I don't understand. Mama, you look so exhausted. Mm -hmm. Come see. Come see. This waste is still pinning you back. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It's a mm -hmm. The whole fruit I saw today, I used the money to go and sell to Mama BK for the food stuff we collected since last week. And now, there's no money to buy food. I want to talk of the one I used to sell the fruits to move. No, life is no, no, no. You don't have to cry. Everything will be fine soon. No, we find the way around you. Why did your father have to leave us like this? <laughs> Why has God decided to leave us in this kind of situation? Why did not try? Why did I go wrong? Who did I offend? Eh? Working hard. Every <laughs> day. Oh, yet. This is getting difficult. Every <laughs> day. Oh, I already told you that soon. Sarah. Mama. Sarah. Did you say the pure to ask you to sell? Mama, I was cleaning the house. I'm also working on the ABBA research. What ABBA research are you working on? Sarah, we don't have money for that. Your grandmother barely made the dime from that thing. What is wrong with you? I believe it is such a work. You will not put food on the table, Sarah. Only if I had a son. Eh? Maybe things would have been different. Maybe at least maybe we would have gone out to go and look for what is wrong with you. Mama, I believe this research work out. I need practical solution, not dreams. Say that we are barely surviving. We look at you this year, go and say for me. We are barely surviving as it is right now. Eh? Do you want me to keep for you? Okay, I should keep myself for you. Will you go and say this water for me? What is wrong with you? Eh? Be going here before I lose my temper. I'll be doing everything. This girl, what you want for? See how ordinary water you will not say. I'll go and sell fruits. I'll still use the money to sell to them. Sarah, you're not coming. This house, you're not coming. You know, time on this rubbish research that I don't, I don't know what is coming out of it. <sighs>
Lord, what is so hard? God, please help Mama. You said in your word, it's Psalm 40, verse 18. The Lord is close to the broken hearted and save those that are crushed in spirits. Lord, I'm broken hearted. My heart is in pieces. God, help me. Oh. I can do this. I can do this, oh mama. Sarah, you can do this. Bye, Piotta. Bye, Piotta. Like this, as if you won't Mama, watch. Don't let me you... waste this my smile, Lou. You know, I've not eaten since yesterday. But my it's even better. You are sounding serious, Mama, Mama. Pretty serious. Mama, this is our person. Just send us message. Few nights ago, tied to the scene, I Mama, something incredible happened. Incredible. Yes, Mama. Tell me about it. Mama, I prayed the Lord while listening to the message. But I had a powerful encounter, Mama. Yes, Mama. Mama, since then. I just have been free like river. Don't believe me. Mama, guess what? Mama, I have finished my best product. You are joking. Oh, my daughter, come here. Yes, Mama, you are doing well. I'm yes, happy for you. Mama, you know that my friend, Jimmy. By your thoughts. Yes. My friend that does social media advertisement. Okay. Yes, she posted about it on her page. And Mama, you believe. Ah. You are keeping me on so. Hey, buyer just me question. You are just me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, serious? So serious, Mama. You have a buyer? Of course, I have a buyer. They will buy your products. Yes, Mama. Who have money? Oh, my Mama. 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 Mama, you see, this is the beginning of our sunset. Oh, oh what will come out? Praying and hoping for Mama. All I just need now is your prayer. You yeah. have my blessings. Thank you. Look at me. It's going to work. You see this one? It will work. God is going to make it to all this mess. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I bless you from my heart. But to be well with you, anything you touch is left. Sarah, my God, God bless you. This is what you've been waiting for. This mama has come this. This is it, mama. Mama, so proud of you. Mama, we so happy. with you keep it with you Sarah until it comes you want the plate to ask you to wash back to me oh, I was take this heart of mine take it with you I can't stay away then I can't hold Mr. Oh, Jimmy, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you're so mad at this moment and it was good to help you and the step you're about to take in. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hi, Mama. Hope you are safe and well. Mama, you're safe. Oh, Sarah, I've not done anything Sarah wrong. Sarah hasn't done anything wrong. Like, oh, so. Yes, Mama. So is this gentleman you brought to our house? Good day, ma'am. Good day, my son. My name is Mr. Vladimir. I come in peace. I actually came to see your daughter, Sarah, to pay her thank you. Now, please come and sit down. Come and sit down. Hey, Sarah, please bring water for our biscuits. Uh-uh. Bring it for us first. If you're so comfortable. Uh-uh. Please, you have managed this water for us. This is all we have for now, eh? 
Now let me tell you how Sarah's product has blessed our lives and changed my wife's life. My wife was suffering for this ailment for a very long period of time now. We've tried various hospitals and we've taken her to various places, but all to no avail. Not until I stumbled across Dora's product online and I decided to contact the number there. And to call a long story short, that was the turning point of my wife's ailment. And she has been fully recovered. Oh, God. Thanks. Thank God. Now, that's not why I'm here, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, we want to invest in our products. Mm-hmm. I'll be traveling back to the United States of America in a week time. And I'll be discussing with some of my investors so that they will carry out a thorough background, thorough research on our products. And I will be investing one million dollars one million what one million one million million. mama wait wait it's not one million naira it is one million dollars which is almost one billion in nigerian currency what one 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 you two will pass out when you hear that kind of money. You see, she just can't comprehend the amount of what God has done to us. In this life, there are moments when everything changes, when doors open that you never thought of. It's in those moments that you realize the power of faith and the miracles that comes from it. So let this be a reminder to you all that no matter how tough it may seem, never lose sight. This is the power of the seeing eyes. Mama! Mama! If you do not have the eyes that see, your helpers will pass you. You will call enemies friends. You will call friends enemies. If you do not have the eyes that see, you will call demonic doors open doors and you will enter them to your destruction. If you do not have the eyes that see, you can be watching things that will destroy you and enter into it headlong. For there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death. Hear me? I can tell you with all humility, narrow escapes that have happened in my life and destiny in ministry simply because of the gift of sight. Meetings I always, I almost went that I should not have gone and thank God I did not go. Associations I almost would have been part of but by the gift of sight. Many of you right now are in regrets. Respectfully speaking, relationships that were going to destroy you, you did not see. You called the man an angel until you found out he was a devil. You called the woman a queen or a princess until you found out it was something that would destroy you. And unfortunately, I hate to be a bearer of bad news. Some of you went further and now you have been trapped in painful experiences that only the mercy of God will help you through. Hallelujah. There are people today who made costly mistakes. There are certain courses they should have studied in the university, but because they did not have the eyes to see their destiny, they veered off and invested time and energy only to find out they may never, never need it. It did not help them in any way. And some of you right now, God has given you the gift of children, but you do not have the eyes to see their future. When Jacob was about to die, he called his sons. He said, come, let me tell you your future. One by one, they started filing up and he would describe them and bless them. Describe them and bless them. Describe them and bless them. Hallelujah. Can I tell you, as a leader, 
when you have the gift of sight you will know who to put in what unit and who to put in what department I was doing a, a, a teaching in Enugu I think it was a week or two about two weeks ago and I was saying leadership is the ability to combine imperfect people to produce a system that works you will never find people perfect people in your life because you are not yourself and yet you will have to make do with those fragile resources both human and monetary but the ability to know by the power of sight that putting this guy in finance department is a risk no matter how the person he has a perpetual weakness with money yet he's a creative person there are people who are very diligent but they have tendencies of disloyalty there are those who are not creative but they are loyal and all this will be sent to you by god it is your ability to see many people have allowed sentiments to make them put the wrong people you put a man who does not have compassion for the sheep as a lead pastor and then the person does not have the time whether they cry he does not care it's not like he's a bad person he's just not a pastor unfortunately the gift of sight and can I tell you when you have the gift of sight you can look at somebody who is stubborn and supposedly wicked today and you will see the greatest gift in your life and when people say can I, how come this gentleman or how come this lady this person should be out of your school or this person should be out of your house and you look at them in the midst of their imperfections because you have seen what their tomorrow looks like you will endure until you build them and they become leaders who do not have the power of sight will throw away some of the greatest gifts in their life some of the most anointed men and women in this ministry by the grace of god if you had seen them when they came they did not look like it but the ability to see the cleaner who is cleaning your house now you will be surprised that that is the person who can die for you even more than your children the person may not be able to speak yes he has tendencies and he's stealing 10 naira 20 naira here but it's just a mindset that was manipulated by spirits the person still has the purity of heart can you look beyond people's actions the seen eye will help you to forgive the seen eye will help you to know how to tolerate people it gives you the staying power to give people a chance to rise but the seen eye will also caution you and tell you this person will remain the same even after 20 years beware now before you cry tomorrow the seen eye some of you God warned you about many people years ago but sentiments you were wrapped up with sentiments until they now became a plague to your organization a plague to your life can I tell you one of the greatest gifts in my life is the eyes that see the one you see is not the only one I have you can watch people and as you see people you are seeing things beyond what the eyes you can you can be given access to people's tendencies access to people's weaknesses access to people's limitations not to laugh at and condemn them but to be able to know where to take them and where not to take them how to guide them and how not to guide them for me i will not do what elisha did i will not cause leprosy on the person but i will say gehazi be careful this is a revelation that you are not ready to receive the mantle what do we do about this now perhaps he would have been called prophet gehazi there are many people today who left destiny helpers they should not have left like lot and made certain mistakes and if not for the intervention of Abraham, Lot would have died in Sodom and Gomorrah. I know that that uncle may be harsh. That auntie may be harsh. It looks like they always show tribalism and sentiments. But if you have the seen eye, God will say remain in that house. As, as harsh as that treatment is, that is the greatest university that can make a leader out of you running around and looking for comfort to produce a weak person. And in the midst of that pain, it is true that they may accuse you and insult you and call you names 
and you want to live and God says stay there if you have the eyes that see one day that harsh man and his harsh wife will call you and say I don't like you oh, but God gave us an instruction he said we should build you a house and empower you to go and when you tell people it was Pharaoh that gave you gold they will not believe it if you were in Egypt and they ask you where will you get gold from you probably will say Canaan sometimes gold will still come from the Egypt that persecuted you the very place of your pain is where your treasure will come from but do you have the grace to stay until you receive it or will you hurry out of Egypt and live empty-handed if they had left Egypt two weeks before the time appointed they would not go with the gold that they will use to build the tabernacle hallelujah is someone hearing what I'm saying there are people today who left Nigeria and as soon as they arrived where they arrived they knew that that decision was a superior decision because everything showed that their destinies were not here there were others who were blindly copying and they just got up as soon as they left Nigeria their destiny helped us got to where they had been walking and they got there where the people were and they were nowhere to be found and some of them with all due respect are living like fugitives in a strange land we are going to take five minutes and I'm going to leave you with your maker you're going to cry Lord deliver me from blindness open up my eyes and give me the gift of sight go ahead and pray open up my eyes give me the gift of sight the ability to see the seen eye the eye that sees the future the eye that redeems the future dominion over time someone pray someone pray someone pray I, 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 glory be to God. 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 I, 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 Hear me in the name of Jesus. Father, what chariot should I be joining in this season? What partnerships do I need in this season to break out of and to become part of? Who is an ally indeed in this season? It will not come by physical appearance. You will need the ability to see what should I be studying and meditating upon right now? What business will produce the next wealthy people in the next five years? Don't assume the seen eye is the solution.
Take a minute and pray. You are praying. Don't be distracted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to lead you to one more prayer and after that there is a rain that is going to fall and wash off every mud that has covered your eyes there is a river that will flow as the one that came from Siloam and will be washing the eyes of people that they may see indeed now hear me the Bible says call unto me we are not done no I'm about to show you a key. I just want us to pray for a minute. Then I'll show you a key and then we'll do the impartation. Call on to me and I will answer. He didn't say I will tell you. I will show you great and mighty things concerning your destiny, concerning your business, concerning your family, concerning your children. Lord, you gave me four children. Who is the prophet among them? Who is the entrepreneur among them? Who is the leader among them? Let me not let me not exchange their destinies like Esau and Jacob. Call on to me and I will answer. I'd like you to pray in one minute and cry. Say, Father, show me. Show me great and mighty things. Show me the things I need to be positioned over in this season. Show me things that I need to come into alignment with in this season. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm. I tell you, I sense a very strong impartation that is about to happen. But I have to give you these three keys. Activating the gift of sight. What does it take to activate this blessing? Ah. Nizambika. Nizambika Kainegaskia Nizambika Nizambika Kainehaskena Nizambika Yaisu Kainehaskena In the Kabi There are three keys I want to hand to you now. I want to show you how to activate the seeing eye. 
Number one, praying in the spirit. Write it down. There is nobody who invests quality, consistent time praying in the spirit who will not receive this gift of the seeing eye. Whether you misuse it or not is another thing. But as far as seeing is concerned, it is a grace that goes with praying. Show me a man that has committed himself to the ministry of prayer. I show you a seer indeed. Praying in the spirit. And when you begin to pray, the spirit of God starts to search the mind of the father and downloads for you the things that eyes have not seen, the things that ears have not heard, the things that have not come into the heart of any man. Invest time praying and see what happens to your dreams and visions. Invest time praying and see what happens to your creativity and intelligence and your imagination. Invest time praying and see what happens to you as far as the capacity to draw insight from the world. Invest time praying and you will show me, I will show you the prophetic activations that happen in your life. Hallelujah. Can I tell you? A worship minister who only sings and does not pray, when they sing, you will know the difference. You will know that this person is just singing. I don't care how nice the voice is. You will know this person is just ad leaping and just singing. There is a stability that your prayer life gives every other thing you do. A businessman who prays, the difference will be clear. A career person who prays, the difference will be clear. A man of God who studies scripture and prays, the difference will be clear. A worshiper who prays when he sings, the difference will be clear. There are many people who raise songs and you almost feel irritated. You're like, please just finish and go. Because there is no presence. There is a sound that your prayer life gives everything that you do. You cannot fake a genuine prayer life. It's not by the huskiness of your voice. Uh -uh. There is a presence. There is a stamina. There is a confidence, a stability that comes from within your spirit. For someone, God is fanning your prayer altar. Ah, you need it. You need it. You need it. It is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Yes, sir. 